Noob Noob, are you ready to strap one on for Lady Deadpool? Oh, I'm a swim in that lady's pool in the deep end. Oh, I didn't watch the latest trailer, but I have heard big time reactions. And apparently they've introduced a new sexy character. And I didn't even know this was a thing. Is like Lady Deadpool like Lady Spider Man? Like they just made a lady out of it, or is there a? It's just the same thing without a penis, probably. Oh my god, that seems like a thing. Uh, it's very strange to me that anyone would care, other than for the jokes. This seems like a really random movie. Like, is there really going to be a plot to it? I think that they they just want. If it's not Blake Lively, I think people will not care. Why would people care if it was Blake Lively? Oh my God! So you're already speculating who it's going to be, or or Taylor Swift? People really want Taylor Swift There's to be in this movie. For some no reason. way Taylor Swift is in this movie. Not like if happening. Taylor Swift was Lady Deadpool, I think people would lose their minds. Not going to happen. Well, Deadpool and Wolverine unveils Lady Deadpool full look, and then Daphne Keen returns. If you don't recall, she is X twenty three, and she yes. was also in the Acolyte. In case you were wondering, it's got. More is it Blake? It's got to be Blake, right? That would. It's the only thing that makes sense. It's got to be Blake or Taylor. That's what I'm saying. There's no way it's, it's Taylor Swift uh, or Travis Kelsey. Maybe that makes the most sense. It well, would be. Uh, Lady Deadpool will be popping up amongst many other variants of the Merc with the Mouth. Various teasers for that Marvel tentpole tipped off that Lady Deadpool's arrival. Nobody even knows who that is. Like, why would anyone really care other than, like I said, the jokes? And then apparently the bigger reveal is that Daphne Keene, who played X-23, is coming back in Hugh Jackman's 2017 Logan. I mean, I guess that's okay. I didn't really... And she's going to play the same character? Whoa. Whoa. I mean, Logan was okay. It wasn't like... I don't know. I didn't like the whole no, Lo- kids Logan thing. was pretty good. There was too many out of kids, but like other than the kids, if you Logan take out good. all the kids, Logan is fine. Although it's yeah. kind of like uh, there's very similar, big similarities. It was almost like they were projecting the future with Professor X and a certain other person who holds a job of quite big importance in the United States of America. Oh, is it the sniffing kids one? <laughs> It seems that way, right? You don't think that's a little I weird? Never made that connection until you just said it. I don't think anyone has. I think that's a that's a hot take that you get right here on Our Reviews Will Kill You with Noob Noob and Z. So uh, Keen's been telling press, I guess she's been doing press for the Acolyte, that she would not be popping up in Deadpool and Wolverine. Well, apparently that was a lie because... Uh, See, all actors are liars because she showed up in the trailer. <laughs> like, what? What is wrong Wait, with is you? Wait, she, is she? She's actually in the trailer. Uh, yeah. Apparently, that um, just as the final Deadpool and Wolverine trailer debuted, she finally opened up about returning as X twenty three. So she's been lying this entire time. She goes, all the inspo comes from Andrew Garfield because Andrew Garfield kept lying about returning as Spider Man. So she's like, yeah, I'm a good liar. Wow. Wowie, wowie, wow, wow. Whoever would have thought she'd return as X-23? Apparently, I mean, she dropped her phone in the bath. I'm surprised she didn't get electrocuted for that. Are she you, wasn't even that interesting. Does she talk now? She was a Because I remember child, she, didn't yeah, she didn't talk. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of acting going on there. There was a lot of screaming as a young child. And now I'm highly disturbed because I'm thinking... I don't want to be thinking of her as X-23 in the bath. Stop it. Get that out of my head. Oh, God. <laughs> Get it out of my head. Getting sniffed by Professor X. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely. I or haven't Professor watched D. the final trailer because I didn't want to spoil anything. And obviously, they're like, spoil away. We're going to give you Lady Deadpool. We're going to give you X-23. That seems I really, like too much. I really do not know what the story to that movie is. I don't necessarily know that there needs to be a story to it. I think it's just going to be Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman saying just, a bunch of banter to each other. Yes, yeah, just jerking around. And then people show up, and you're like, that's neat. That's neat. Well, and they also adopt that absolutely dreadful premise from uh, the Loki show, which is about the time variant 
police thing, which is so stupid. I don't I don't That's really dumb. ever want to think about it ever again. So maybe Owen Wilson will make a surprise appearance. Wow. Deadpool. Wow. wow. I don't want to pay child support. Wow. <laughs> Does he not really want to pay child support? Isn't there wasn't there something about him having like illegitimate kids? Wow. I've never heard that, noob noob. Wow. Wow. My nose is so big. Wow. <laughs> wow. My brother's a, in old school. It's just a better movie than I've ever done. Wow. No, his brother's a better actor. <laughs> you think Luke Wilson is better than Owen Wilson? I think so. I don't think so. I'm gonna say Owen is the winner. Nah, I like Luke. <laughs> You're a big Luke man, going hard. I like in Daddy the Luke. Luke and Star Girl. Daddy Luke. <laughs> That's the only thing you can think of him from. It's Star Girl. And old school. Mm-hmm. Good for and you. That, that's literally it. I think he's had two career acting jobs. I feel like he's been. What, who is in Marley and Me? Owen. L- Owen Wilson. Oh, that takes the cake. He, that's the winner. He did get to do tongue things with Jennifer Aniston. So I thought, all right, that's fair. I retract. It's Owen Wilson. <laughs> and he did Zoolander. Wow. He did. He I did get to ben do tongue Stiller. things with Ben Stiller. All right, that's fine. Wow. They're definitely gay together. Oh my god, this got off track. So, uh, are you yeah. excited about all this, or you know? No, I I want to see the movie. I just don't know that the story matters at this point. I just want to see Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman banter. It's good and I still much. want Hugh Jackman at the very end to come out as gay. <laughs> He's looking for a new wife. How dare you? Yeah, new beard. <laughs> That's right. Well, uh, let us know what you think. Are you are you tired of trailers revealing every single thing humanly possible? Are there any surprises left? I have no idea. I don't. Let, let me are know. Are you tired of Hugh Jackman pretending he's not gay? Me too. Let us da- let us know down in the comments below. We would love to know what you think. Anyway, be sure to catch our podcast on iTunes. Usually, seven thirty uh, things stuff in iTunes. We live stream here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. YouTube is the best. And join our channel and things and stuff and things and likes and things and subscribes and notification bells, right? All the words. Whatever those things I just said were. My house is flooding. (laughs) You go enjoy that and we'll enjoy you. Thanks for listening, but we're on to the next one.